Why hello you people from Earth and our space, it is I, Alexander from the Universe. In this episode of Let's Rest, we're going to talk about breaks and how you can break out of those everlasting, ever-going, infinite, horrible, really, really crazy loops. Let's say we had a loop here, a regular good old loop that's going to loop forever saying, uh... <laughs> I have an egg. Does that totally make sense? We run this now. We're like cargo run here. It's gonna be like I have an egg forever because we have an egg and we really want people to know about that. So let's say we wanted to break out of this loop. So there's no expression that's automatically gonna end this loop. This loop will go on forever into all of eternity. But we can fix that. For example. We could be really silly about this. Uh, rather than using a for loop for this, we're like, let my i for index is equal to zero. And then we say down here, the very bottom of this, we do i plus plus. Inside of this loop, we're also going to have an if that checks for if i is greater than or equal to. 10 because that's when we want to get out of this loop we go down one make ourselves a nice code block here and then inside of here we type break now this makes no sense whatsoever does it it probably does what break is gonna do is it's gonna break out of this loop it's gonna jump out of it so even if this loop is gonna be running forever we put break there it's gonna be like hey there's a break here we gotta get out of here Let's run this. <laughs> and I have put my other language skills to use. Here we go, plus equals one. <laughs> so much better. Let's run this. It's gonna say, I have an egg. For how many times? It's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven? Oh, that's weird, right? What we could do is we could move this down. Say, after the I plus equals one, and then run it. And you're gonna see, 5, 10. It says it 10 times. That's what we wanted. Beautiful. And we could do the same thing for any type of loop. We could do it for a while loop. Uh, while i is less than uh, 100, for example, it's still gonna run exactly 10 times. So we have that break there. We could also do that for for loops. 4x in uh, 0 to 100 it's gonna do the same thing bada bam boom it's also gonna tell us that <laughs> x is unused it's gonna complain about that that doesn't matter this works <laughs> and breaks are really nice to have when you have some crazy sort of loop going on or some weird loop structure that you want to break out of at some point you store this in the banks of your mind and live long and prosper. Why well, goodbye, you people from Earth and outer space. Feel free to leave a comment stating something that are hilarious or perhaps even a like. Until next time.